Okay, so I've got NVChad looking pretty good and feeling like I want it to, right? I want to show y'all a couple modifications that I made in order to make everything work the way that I want it to. So I can actually just copy this config over to my other machines and everything work and play nicely together. So first off, the default tabs in NVChad are two, which is retarded. So I set them to four by going into the nvim lua custom init.lua file and then adding the following line of code vim.op.shiftwith equals four and that gets things back to normal for me to start with in addition to that i also in order to get my left hand mode for my previous vimrc working correctly again I had to start writing my own custom key binds using NVChad's format. In particular, some very subtle nuances that did not directly translate over from no remap into Lua script were the following. As an example, my K key is actually my delete key as witnessed down here. Um, in Vim, normally I would just do a no remap on K to D and then a no remap on D to K and everything works fine. D would effectively become my up arrow key. But because of the way that in Vim and you, in Vim, in VChad work, uh, I have to be very specific about the order that I specify things. So. There's a bit of a bug when doing DD without mapping it specifically this way. By default, DD, if I just map K, for instance, will actually end up causing me to delete two lines of text instead of one if I ever hit KK. Um, similarly, there's another bug involving um, pressing down, so I had to uh, be very specific with my custom keystroke motions because the context changes every time that you hit a key so you have to be very explicit about what it is that you actually want to do as an example kf should map to a uh, dj which would be effectively be the same as pressing delete and down which would actually delete two lines of text and for the keys that had meanings previously um I have to uh, remap them to uh, other keys. So F and D up and down, and then K for delete, and J to replace the F key. And then in visual mode, K, J, F, and D for, uh, for those. I could also add in um, move left, which uh, would look like this. So in the uh, value of the array that we're modifying, we put the string character sequence that we want to modify. Then we put in the value, the first part of an array, a string representing the motion that we want it to map to, followed by a description of the uh, action that, that we're taking there. Similarly, we can go ahead and paste this down here. Make sure we add the comma. And everything's gravy. So the new keystroke works. And if I hit Control S, it still works. So everything's good to go. I'm still getting used to using the leader key as space. Um, Apparently, if you hit space, T, H, you can get to the themes and start rotating through stuff, which is kind of cool. Um, lastly, I had to get a copilot working, which was not intuitive out of the box. So I want to show you all what I did. You go into the plugins.lua. And 
at the very bottom, you have to add a big entry for Copilot. Two things in particular. Um, so these two arrays right here represent plugins that will get installed and allow you to start using Copilot inside of NVChat. I already had NeoVim working with Copilot to begin with, and it really wasn't that difficult to get set up. This took a little bit of time to find, but it works pretty good in that it sits and plays nicely alongside their built-in code autocomplete feature. So you can get suggestions from both the NVChat autocomplete as well as Copilot and actually dis differentiate between the two. Um, for instance, if I were to add another line here, Copilot would probably make an effort. Yeah, see, Copilot's attempting to uh, complete a line there. Um, but of course, I don't really care. So, three things that I did were that I edited the init.lua, the mappings.lua, and the plugins.lua in order to get those features working and playing together nicely with NVChat, which looks fantastic. I'm really happy that Mental Outlaw introduced us to it, and I'm looking forward to seeing what all I can do that I couldn't do previously with my old Vim setup. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.